Hi, welcome to Health Chat. We're filming today at the beautiful beaches of Gloucester and I'm with Mayor Safathia Romeo Taken, who's joined me as the health director. We're here to talk about enjoying the outdoors this summer, being healthy, being active, and having some fun here in Gloucester. How are you today, Mayor? I'm doing great. This is how you do not want to dress when you come to the beach. You want to protect <laughs> yourselves, but yes. And this is what it's all about. It's about when you have a day off or you have some time, enjoy yourself, get outside. You know, we all need the vitamin D in the sun. You all need just mm -hmm. the air, the quality. It's just breathtaking at our beaches, our parks. Yes, Get out there, make sure you be safe. And remember, those who love our good beaches, especially here at Good Harbor Beach, when it's high tide, you better like your neighbor because you're gonna be really close. Don't forget <laughs> your suntan lotion, but don't forget your sunscreen. Because I like That's to right. get dark, but you do it with a block. If you have children, remember to watch them carefully. We do have currents, you know, yeah. Don't depend always on your neighbor, depend on yourself. Don't leave your child unattended at all times because the coming strong at all the beaches. Yeah. But if you really want a nice place to go with children and you really want to enjoy yourself, we have a wonderful stage for a park. Then it's called Half Moon Beach where it goes yeah. all the way down and it even has a tree so you can always have a child go napping. It's so isolated and perfect. It looks like your own playpen with yeah. water. And if the it's kids beautiful. get tired, they can go up in the swings. There's a concession right down the street, and there's also yep. bathrooms right there. So for when I had my kids were younger, that's where my favorite beach was, <laughs> was Half Moon Beach, because it was all in one. I believe it. It's a beautiful spot for kids, safe and sheltered. It's really, really nice. Do you ever get time to enjoy the beach I actually, there now? I actually um, don't go to the beach. Yeah. Um, I go to Stage 4 Park and welcome my tourists nice. and I want to make sure they understand that, you know, some of our beaches are carry in, carry out. So be careful with your trash and, you know, you have to be careful with the birds, the environment. Please, I always tell people, you know, yep. there's no ban on plastic, but you know what? Don't bring it to the beach if you can't. Right. You don't have to because the fact is, you know what? If it goes out in that ocean, it does. Yeah. I mean, I'm not worried yep. just about you. I'm worried about the whole environment. And if you go around and look at our beaches, it belongs to everyone. Yeah. Nobody owns that ocean. So don't throw in not your personal stuff in my ocean. Yeah, that's right. Did I just say my ocean? <laughs> it is mine if you're going to throw plastic in it. If you don't, then it's yours. It's all of ours. That's yeah, right. Absolutely. And we want, it, we want to protect it. I don't want it. to go back in. I guess I could stay with you guys forever and ever because this is my first time outside. It's glorious out. Yep. But I don't have any hat on and I don't have sunscreen on. So I'm really going to have to go. But protect that's yourselves. Yep. Hats sunscreen, watch your children, and have a good time. And there's so many activities that we have the bocce courts on the boulevard, you have yeah, the volleyball that's courts. Right. There's so many things in Gloucester that you can do. Yeah. Just go on our website and they'll let you know. That's great. Have a good day, everyone. Mara, thanks so much for joining oh, my us. my pleasure. Stay fit and stay well. Sometimes I get have jealous it. of your job. <laughs> it's a pretty good one, days like today. Bye, everyone. Have a good day at the beach. Welcome to Health Chat. We're here in Gloucester at Good Harbor Beach. I'm with my friend and colleague, Chief McCarthy, who finds his way down to the beach often for a walk. So John, tell us about it. Do you like to walk on this beach regularly or? I've been walking on this beach since I was a little kid. Really? Yeah, I grew up not too far from here. Yeah. And now I get down either before work or after work pretty much every day do when the really? weather allows, yeah. And how do you find time for that? I know you've got a busy schedule in the I'm city. Down here at five in the morning, as soon as the daylight's a lot of time, so. That's amazing. I love the beach, I love walking, so. Yep. It's, it's a good way to start the day. Yep. Or end the day. Does it, does it help your stress level, do you think, when you're, you know, coming off a big day and a lot going on in the city? I think so, you know, there's nothing, nothing prettier than being down here when the sun's coming up in the morning. Yep. Um, you know. It's just beautiful. I, I walk barefoot, I walk in the water. Yep. And I'll usually do like three miles in the morning if I come down early. Wow, that's impressive. Very I don't good. know about that, but. <laughs> that's great. And uh, walking's really important. You know, we know there's a lot of benefits to moving throughout the day and getting a little bit of exercise in and breaking up all the sitting we do in jobs. A lot of us sit, um, have very sedentary lifestyles, so it's really important to get out and walk a bit. Um, rumor has it you do a bit of walking with the city's walking club around town. We do. Um, the employees' a... walking group. Tell us about that. Did you start that? I might have. With an intern last summer, we got a citywide walking group going that um, people on their coffee break can take a quick, short walk just to get out and get some fresh air, move around. We know that it has a lot of health benefits to move throughout the day as well as increases productivity. So the city thinks it's a good thing. We think it's a good thing. and. Um, 
So, so you make it out once in a while? To there are three or four of us that try to make it out yep. several times a week. And even if we don't make the 10 o'clock with the city, we go out on our own sometimes. That's great. So we'll do a mile in 15 minutes or so. That's great. So I have a question for you. If you didn't have this beautiful track to walk on, would you still get out and walk? Somewhere? Yeah, I walk. Like yesterday, I walked the boulevard, I walked walk. uh, the cannons, I walked Niles Beach yesterday. Yeah. So I, yeah. yeah. Um, That's great. Doesn't matter where. Yep. And they're over there working on the bridge right now, so that'll be great. back to so people can usefulness enjoy. very soon. That's excellent. That's excellent. And I know our department has recently, you know, tested the water. We sample the water each week at the beaches to make sure the water is clean, safe for swimming. And I know we're all set. It's beautiful and ready for a great summer of fun and, and activity here in Gloucester. So. Now, now, I heard there's a Board of Health director that actually rides her bike to Essex and back. Is you know, that true? I do when I can, John. Yeah, I do. Um, I enjoy riding my bike, and it's about 10 miles from, from my office in Gloucester to my house in Essex. And again, it's a great way to end the day or start the day. Um, just let off some steam and get out in the fresh air. So great. Yep, I like to do that too. Yeah. So, yeah, good. Well, listen, thanks for joining us on Health Chat. We appreciate it and keep up the good work walking. Okay. Uh, thanks no, for having me. You're welcome. Take care. Have okay. a good day, John. All right. Bye bye. Bye. All right. Hi. Welcome back. We're here at the beach for Health Chat today. We're talking about uh, summer fun and safety here in these beautiful outdoor spaces of Gloucester. So we hope you'll enjoy your summer, have a good time, get some exercise in, and enjoy the sun and fun. I have with me now Rosalina Castro, the city's food inspector, and she's going to give you a few pointers for keeping your picnic um, safe from any foodborne illness or ways to prepare your food to, so that it, you don't have any problems with your food at the beach. Hi, Rosalie. Thanks Hi, for coming to the beach. Thanks. This is great. It's a perfect day. Perfect a day. Day. Yeah. So, what do we need to know to stay safe? So, my job is to protect uh, the public from foodborne illness. I inspect all the restaurants in town, I inspect the hospitals, and I inspect all the schools. But when it comes to summertime, it's your job to protect your lunch. First thing you do when you're making your lunch, you should have a cooler. In the cooler, you should have a thermometer. You can buy the thermometers almost anywhere. They have cheap money. Keep it in the cooler. It should, re it should read around 40 degrees. If the, if the thermometer is 40 degrees, your food will be 40 degrees. Cold food should be kept cold. In the summertime, we go to the beach, we usually make sandwiches. First thing we do is wash your hands. Foodborne illness, cross-contamination, the major reason we get that is from dirty hands. So we should wash our hands before we make our sandwiches. We should also wash our fruit. We don't know where the fruit has been. Fruit, yeah. fruit is a healthy snack. We like to take fruits to the beach so our kids and we eat the nice healthy uh, snack. We should wash our fruits, polish it up, shine it, make it nice and clean. And always remember, everything you take to the beach, you take with you when you go home. Never leave anything on the sand. Um, ways to keep your lunch cool. You can buy these little freezer packs, put them in your freezer, always have them ready to go. If you don't have those, we all have bottles of water in our fridge. Keep a couple of bottles of water frozen. You can always keep them in your, in your freezer, put them in your cool bag. That'll help keep the temperature to 40 degrees. If the water starts melting, the temperature goes up, you can drink your water. But if the temperature goes up to over 40, 60, uh, 60 70 degrees, throw your food out. Foodborne illness is a serious, serious disease. It's a serious illness. You can end up in the hospital with serious disease. So always protect yourself. Um, Rosalie, are there certain types of food that you have to be more careful that they stay at 40 um, or below? Mm -hmm. Or, you know, like our fruits, our apples, are they okay if they're out and get a bit warmer than that? Yes, fruits and vegetables, uh, we grew up with them on our kitchen table. They can be room temperature. Okay. But anything with potential hazardous food, protein, salads, um, cooked vegetables, those things should always be at 40 degrees or below. Okay. And uh, summertime's coming, we also have parties and buffets. All cold food should be kept cold, hot food should be kept hot. Um, you can put the cold food in the ice bath, hot foods, they have the sternos. And when you do have a buffet, all the food should be covered. Right. To protect us from flies, birds, yep. and other insects. Yep. And yep. Uh, a lot of people put the tops up now. 
Um, but cold food should be kept hot, cold, hot food should be kept hot. Great. Very good. So, Rosalie, um, what's your favorite picnic lunch look like? When you were, if you were to bring a picnic to the beach today, what would you pack? So I would always have water. Okay, good. Um, Lots of water. Uh, water is a nice, clean, healthy drink. Yep. There's, it quenches your thirst. I might make um, a salad. I love salad, so that definitely has to be kept cold. Yep. The salad dressing has to be kept cold. Sandwich, people love sandwiches. Peanut yep. butter and jelly, I mean, that doesn't have to be kept cold, but just as a precaution, I would put peanut butter and jelly in my cooler. Okay, very good. Yep. That sounds delicious. I'm hungry. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Thank I mean, those you. are some simple things Thank people you. can do um, at home when they're getting ready for their day out at the beach or the park or wherever yep. you like to spend your summer right. times, your picnics. and. Right make sure that your food doesn't get contaminated. Right. So thank you again. Thank you. And my name is Rosalie Nicastro. My work number is 978-325-5264. Any questions you have, concerns or complaints, please call me. It's my job. I like to protect. I like to inform people. Thank you so much. Thanks, Rosalie. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. That's right. <laughs>。We're back on Health Chat、uh, here at Good Harbor Beach on a beautiful day. I've got some friends from the Y here who are going to talk to us about some of the programs and the work they're doing this summer in the community to keep the kids and and members of the community healthy and active. So first, I have Andrew,、um, Amanda, and Helene, and they're all going to talk to us about、uh, some different aspects of what's going on at the Y and what they're doing in the community. So Andrew, tell us a little bit about some of the summer programs you guys are running, summer safety, and what you're doing at the Y this summer. Sure. So we're really concentrating this summer on really getting out into the community and ensuring that every family, regardless of where they are, what means they have, have an ability to stay active, be healthy, and be involved with our community. So we're doing everything from mobile、um, playground programs all the way through summer swim safety at beach programs at Plum Cove Pavilion and even at Niles Beach. Great!、Um, so we're really excited to get out there and show everyone what we're about and how to stay active. Very good. And if people are interested in finding out more about the swim safety or the playground, do they come to your website or? Yeah, they can come the to、way? our website.、Um, they're more than welcome to come visit us in person at our site right on.、Um, Middle Street. Yeah.、Um, we have an amazing front desk staff there that can help inform them about any questions they have. Excellent. That's great, Andrew. I'm I'm glad to know that. I didn't realize. So that's really important. Summer safety, swimming, swimming safety, obviously, especially for kids, but adults too. In this ocean water and quarries and everything else we have around here for swimming. Yeah. So Amanda, can you tell us a little bit about what's going on in the camps this summer and? With the kids,、um, how do you keep these kids active and healthy all summer? Yeah, so we have two different camps. We have Camp Windward and Camp Spindrift, and the goal at camp is really to keep kids active all day, whether it be outside or in our gyms or in our fields, wherever it is, to keep kids moving.、Um, and then also we have our weekly swim lessons with camp in our pools, and they always have a daily swim time in the pool too. So they're staying active all day. They're making friends. Um, and really having a blast every day at camp. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> Sounds good. So, Amanda, can you tell us a little bit about、um, nutrition with the kids this summer, and how do you manage what kind of snacks and food they bring, and how do you make sure that nutrition or encourage them to eat healthy foods? Yeah. So families,、um, some families pack lunches, but we also have partnerships with the Open Door, where they provide lunches to our camp programs. Yeah. Um, and we also partner with backyard growers. So our Camp Windward program has a garden bed over at Burnham's Field that they will be planting and growing fruits and veggies in.、Um, and we will also be participating in Grow Fest on June second with backyard growers,、yeah. um, and have the opportunity to be there and work with them on nutrition in our communities. Oh, that's wonderful! So the kids actually be doing some gardening themselves. They'll be doing gardening and. and Planted a lot of things they can pick right off the vine and eat right there in the garden. Oh, that's great! That's <laughs>、so、wonderful. So they'll be having a blast and doing a lot of cooking cooking projects with them too, so they、yep. can see they can use their fruits and veggies in different ways. Very good. That's wonderful. Well, thanks so much for the、Absolutely. work you do with the kids and the programs. We'll be excited to hear how those goes. Thanks again. <laughs> So, Helena, I know you've done some work、um, with the city, helping us getting our walking program going, and you, you're active and, and encouraging people to get out there and be active. Do you have any tips or thoughts on people coming to the beach or the park in the summer? How to incorporate a little bit of physical activity, like you did with our workday here at the、sure. beach? 
Yeah, one of the best parts of summer is the fact that the kids are out of school and, and it is a time that families can spend more quality time together and doing some more fun activities. So yeah. coming down the beach, it's always great. Just do some walking, collecting shells, looking for sea glass, little pickup volleyball games or little kickball games, anything just to keep everybody laughing, having some fun and, and moving around. And then one of the biggest things too that we all forget about a lot of times in the summer is staying hydrated and it's very important, especially for little ones and some of our senior citizens. Mm -hmm. you know, we don't um, typically drink enough water all year round, so especially when it's, it's humid and hot and we're running around and having fun, it's really, really important to stay hydrated along with sunscreen. So those are the best parts of summer though, just having some fun fresh fruits and picnics and all that kind of stuff with your families. Yep. That's right. Yeah, those are great tips. Um, and if you're outdoors for longer periods of time, I'm assuming you need to be consuming more water than if you're home inside in the shade or air conditioning? Absolutely. I mean, the old adage is what, eight glasses a day. So if you're yep. going to be outside and, and working up a good sweat and having some fun, it's always good to err on the side of caution and, and have much more. Yep. So none of us have ever had too much water. I that's right. But have That's fun hard with to your do. Families. Yep. Come down to the Y. We have some great family activities this summer too. Having a family kickball game on July 7th. We've got our annual bazaar coming out in August. There's some fun family days at Camp Spindrift. So lots of activities to just get out and enjoy. That's great. And a lot of beautiful spots around the beautiful. North Shore to be outside at beaches, parks, that kind of thing. So be better than take us advantage. Today. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. So well, thanks so much. Thank yeah. You. And thanks to the Y for all the work you do here in the community, keeping us fit and healthy. So thanks Thank for you. joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. And of course, the other thing we really want you to remember for a healthy, safe summer is to protect yourself from the sun. Although we love the sun, we also know it can be really damaging to our skin and our health. So the health department has partnered with Impact Melanoma to provide free sunscreen and sunscreen dispensers at the two main public beaches in Gloucester, Good Harbor and Wingershiek. Here at Good Harbor, the dispensers are, dispensers are located at either end of the beaches. Um, and they're on a post and they're there all the time available for free. So we hope you'll take advantage of that and put on sunscreen every two hours. Also, don't forget your hats, shirts to cover up if you're going to be out in the sun for a long period of time.